I am very clear. I am acting in the interest of Telugu community. You cannot divide community for our political gain. A dedicated leader, a determined visionary, an unpredictable kingmaker. Here's a look at Chandra Babu Naidu's journey from economic student to three-time chief minister through a series of rare interviews. Nara Chandra Babu Naidu was born on 20th April 1950 in Andhra Pradesh's Naduvari Palle. He earned his MA in economics in 1974 and started his political stint with the Congress Youth Wing. He won his first assembly election as a Congress candidate at the age of 28. and was appointed Andhra's technical education minister making him the youngest minister in the state at the time in 1980 he married telugu superstar nt ramarao's daughter bhuvaneshwari two years later ntr launched his own party the telugu desam party the tdp swept the 1983 andhra pradesh elections and naidu himself was defeated by a tdp candidate soon naidu would follow his father in law and join the tdp ntr started telugu desam party to look after telugu people telugu community overall welfare and also pride of this uh, community we want to promote in 1984 ntr was ousted as chief minister in a political coup naidu displayed his political acumen by swiftly garnering enough support for ntr to return to power this earned him ntr's confidence and naidu was made general secretary of the party the ddp lost the 1989 elections to the congress and was relegated to being in the opposition In 1992, NTR secretly married his biographer Lakshmi Parvati, and detractors began to allege that she was interfering in NTR's political decisions. After he became chief minister in 1994, in 1995, Naidu staged a coup against his own father-in-law and overthrew him to become chief minister. A furious NTR vowed revenge, but passed away due to a heart attack five months later. In his first term, Naidu focused on rural development. and launched a janmabhoomi scheme to decentralize welfare schemes he also began farmers markets and set up women self help groups naidu didn't restrict himself to just state politics he was credited with choosing united front back prime ministers like ashi devagowda and ik kuchral establishing his reputation as a kingmaker i created united front hmm. i took support of congress i opposed bjp we formed hmm. government and then we were two years or one two and a half years we were in power right sir then elections came then mm. nda came i believed because we had a political compulsion at the time with congress i supported vajpayee ji he not only supported the vajpayee government in 1998 but carried its weight for five years to hum kabhi bhul nahi sakte ki nda ki sarkar jab vajpayee ji ke netritv mein pehle bani thi तो चंद्र बाबू जी का उसमें बहुत बड़ा योगदान था और उनके कारण भी हम बहुत आनंदित होकर के उस कार्यकाल को याद करते हैं कि हिंदुस्तान के इतिहास में ऐसा कोई केंद्र में पहले कभी राज आया नहीं जैसा वाजपेयी जी के नेतृत्व में और चंद्र बाबू के सहयोग के साथ साथ उस समय आया था टीडीपी लीडर जी एम सी बाला योगी लोकसभा स्पीकर and pushed to make sure the center paid special attention to Andhra Pradesh something that paid off richly for Naidu who won a second term in 1999 the tdp also made a big impact nationally winning 29 of 42 seats in the 1999 lok sabha elections this made the tdp the second largest party in the nda after the bjp at that time i had 29 mps without sharing power i was supporting bjp for uh, six and a half years was by government mm. so we are uh, very clear they are very clear we are having better understanding in his second term as chief minister naidu shifted focus from social welfare to industrialization he was in fact the first indian politician to project himself as a ceo chief minister naidu invited foreign investments in the state and developed andhra pradesh into an it hub Multinationals like Google, Microsoft, and others set up their first Indian offices in Hyderabad, leading to high job creation in the state. Time magazine even named him South Asian of the Year. So I created Cyberabad. I created Hyderabad. Hmm. I put India on world map. Hmm. That is where Hyderabad. I put it on world map. Hmm. So I was I was an instrumental. I supported economic reforms. In 2003, Naidu made headlines again. when he narrowly escaped an assassination attempt by maoists believing that public sympathy was on his side 
he called for early elections. Nine years, our party has worked very hard. I am also, I have worked very hard, except sleeping hours. Rest of the time, I struggled for my people. I have produced results. I have addressed the grievance of the people. Naturally, they will be with me. If they won't uh, vote, then naturally nobody will work in this country. Why should they put hard work and they, why should they redress the grievances? But Naidu's single-minded focus on transforming Andhra Pradesh into an IT hub cost him the rural vote. The Congress came back to power and Dr. Wise Rajasekhar Reddy was sworn in as Chief Minister. In 2008, Telugu superstar Chiranjeevi floated his own party, creating a three-way contest in the 2009 Andhra elections. Naidu campaigned hard but was unable to drum up enough support and YSR was sworn in as Chief Minister again. With the Congress in power at the state and the centre, the issue of bifurcating Andhra Pradesh became a hot-button issue. It is a political match-fixing. In this country, they have to follow some procedure, some process they have to follow. Congress party didn't follow any procedure or any process. They want to get some political advantage. One side, they are in collusion with the TRS party. On the other side, they are in collusion with the YSR Congress party. In 2013, Naidu went on a hunger strike after the centre decided to divide the state. However, many accused him of being unclear of his demands. Do you stand by the 2008 decision to create Telangana? All these additions, my Politburo resolution, from the beginning I am saying continuously, same resolution I am accepting. So in, that resolution, in that resolution, I made it very clear, justice to be done, everybody. So your fast is a quest for justice? Yes. What constitutes justice? What I am saying, any common man will understand what is justice. Equal justice for both the regions. How many children you are having? I have no children. Your father? My father had four. Four. If you ask your father, if you can select any, any one of you, he, I will could... show, he will show equal love and affection to all children. Another challenge Naidu had to face was maintaining ties with BJP, which had growing ambitions to establish its footprint in the state on its own. In the interest of the nation, in the interest of the Telugu community, in the interest of both new states, we are having alliance with BJP. That is what I said from the beginning. Mm. Uh, we are very clear now. Mm. We, we, we are having clear understanding. Mm. We will work in that direction. Mm. Our enemy is Congress. Congress has ruined the country. Small things here and there will be there, but we are not bothered. At the end of the day, country's import, uh, interest is important. We are working in that direction. After being out of power for 10 years, the TDP stormed back to victory in 2014, winning 117 of 175 seats. Today, I am having a specific agenda. I have to develop Semandra in a big way. There is a injustice has been done by Congress party. I have to correct all these things. So I am concentrating on Semandra. With his Sunrise Andhra Pradesh vision 2029 in place, Naidu looked to navigate the vagaries of a newly bifurcated state. He spearheaded irrigation projects and focused on developing Amravati as the new state capital. He proved he still remained the business-friendly chief minister by ensuring the first Kia Motors factory in India was set up in Andhra Pradesh. At 1.1 billion US dollars, it is one of India's biggest foreign direct investments. Modi is uh, very capable, he is a development man. I have developed long back, so this is a deadly combination, we are working together. In 2017, he made his son Nara Lokesh his IT minister, leading to allegations of nepotism. But Naidu remained unfazed. With the state elections fast approaching, he took a major political gamble in March 2018. After being at loggerheads with the BJP for a long time, the TDP is set to quit the NDA today. Sources have confirmed to CNN News 18 that TDP is likely to take the decision at its Politburo meeting in Amravati, Andhra Pradesh. This in continuation to their displeasure over the centre not granting special category status to Andhra Pradesh. In fact, the TDP has even decided to support the no-confidence motion planned by the YSR Congress against the central government. Last four years I fought. Fourth year, I said, I have seen your budget. Now no more, I can say, be with you. 27 ti 29 times I came to Delhi. I represent to him. Pillar to post, I went everybody. Why? Being a senior leader, I met everybody. They cheated on the Pradesh people. 
they betrayed on the previous people so i am very clear on that no you are you clear on that we are also part of this country i i agree we sir are i agree. paying taxes for this country but i might i might want to ask me or they like that why but i joined with them it did not win over public support as expected ysrcp chief jagan mohan reddy accused him of being an ineffective leader who couldn't deliver on his promises primary reason why this man came into power is because this man lied through his teeth i think any dumb chief minister also given four four years of regime would definitely you know construct these things and show it to people jagan mohan reddy is only a puppet of trs that is ksr and also narendra modi they don't have any vote bank they don't have any say here directly indirectly everything they are working through him a few months later the tdp allied with one time rival congress to contest the 2018 telangana polls but faced a severe drubbing by the trs and won just two seats chandra babu naidu ko ye bata rahe hain ki main andhra pradesh ko aaunga main andhra pradesh jaunga chandra babu naidu sahab aapne hamare constituency mein hyderabad mein telangana mein aakar badi badi sabhaein ki अब हम जब तेलंगाना आंध्रा में जाएंगे चंद्रा बाबू नायडू तो आप देखना रिएक्शन कैसा होगा और आप इस बात को नोट कर लीजिए कि 25 लोकसभा सीट में से इन दो लोकसभा की सीट पर भी चंद्रा बाबू नायडू कामयाब नहीं होगा नायडू डिसाइडेड डिसाइडेड we are respecting this mandate given by the people i am congratulating jagan mohan reddy for his victory and also honorable prime minister narendra modi for his victory 46 year old ysrcp leader jagan mohan reddy was sworn in as chief minister a move that was hailed as the start of a new era in andhra politics naidu might be down but he is certainly not out His swift turnaround of Andhra Pradesh serves as a case study for business schools, and his uncanny ability to govern efficiently has won him accolades. His political maturity and reputation as a coalition builder has shaped much of India's politics in the late 90s. But if Naidu is to return to power to execute his vision 2029, he will have to do a lot more to win over the trust of the people of Andhra Pradesh once again.